taas mo na kayo. Gitagalog ko na. In the area of environment, the military is directed to intensify its post. Makinig kayo kasi kita. Its support role against illegal logging, illegal mining. Diyan pa naman si Gina Lopez. And other destructive practices that aggravate the devastation of our natural resources. I have to protect the country. Many are complaining against the appointment of Gina Lopez. But si Gina, pati ako, we share the same paradigm. The interest of the country must come first. But hindi ko naman sinasabi, there's a law allowing mining. Gina Lopez and I are just telling you, follow government standards. Do not destroy the environment. Follow it to a T. Wala tayong problema. Just pay the correct taxes, follow the standards. And Gina Lopez is just doing her job. You know, she is really a crusader. So, yan ang, that is how I would describe her persona. Crusader. Kaya, sabi ko, tama yan. Kaya, bakit? Nandiyan ba si ma'am? Si Gina Lopez? Sekretari Lopez? Ganito yan. Pumunta siya sa Dabao. Gabi na mga 1 o'clock because on the early days of my... I mean, I won, but I was not. Hindi pa ako nag-out. Marami na napuntahan. Ito. Felicitations. Congratulations. Si ma'am pumunta twice. Every time she shows me the degradation of ito na. Tapos, dalawang oras naman. Mukhang hindi na matapos. Sabi ko, ma'am. Ma'am, do not be offended. Totoo, ma'am. Huwag kang magalit kay... It's the truth. So, mag-aalas stress na. Ano, you ready this man? Ano, 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 tapos. Extemporinyo na. Para rin ang congressman. Ito, ma'am. Ko, ma'am. Mag-aalas ko ito, ma'am. Ano kaya kung ikaw na lang ang di na? Bigla din siya nagsagot ka, Totoo ka? Ano ang sika mo? Oo. Hindi yung, Oo. 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 Siya siya, I will, I will ask the, you know, I'll consult my family and ask my, ano nila. Following day, tawag siya kay my A.T. Bong. Sina Bong, okay na tinanggap na. Sabi ng pamilya ko, okay na. Sabi ko, ay, bantay kayo lahat. <laughs> But you know, I would not be appointing somebody who's alien to my thinking. I, I, I would take in somebody who shares my horizons in life. Especially yung degradation ng, degradation ng, tama yan, she's a crusader and she will continue. And dito naman lang guys, The DNR is likewise directed to review all permits granted to the mining, logging, and other environmental sensitive activities to ensure compliance with government standards. And if warranted, ito na yung pinakamaganda. Amend, suspend, or revoke permits. Go ahead. I'd like to thank God that I had this opportunity, really. I never, wala namang ano, I never thought I'd umabot ako dito. I've always had that krang sa isip ko, mahirap itong ano. Kaya itong Laguna Lake, naubos ng mga, wala na ang fisherman. Yun lang the difference between one big fish pen to the other. Yun lang ang sa mga tao. 
Makita mo, sa plane, every time, kaya go to Davao, I pass by that lake there. Every time, kita ko, talagang wala na ano. And the fishermen are complaining about the loss. Talagang wala na sila. Kasi ang maliit na lugar, yun lang ang kanila. So dito, pinadaan ko lang a diplomatic way that the uh, Laguna Lake shall be transformed into a vibrant economy. The zone showcasing ecotourism by addressing the negative impact of water shared destruction, land conversion, and pollution. Ito yung nilagay ko. Pero this is what I'm telling you. The poor fishermen will have priority in its entitlements. Uh, order to Gina is uh, Yusin mo ma'am uh, Huwag mo namang ipitin But They have to reduce The areas Of occupation They do not They cannot have an, their cake and eat ito Sila na yung may pera Sila na yung This must stop So mga gawin saan itanong sa kung sinong may ari niyan Simple lang Mga general Mga mayor Governor Baka congressman I mean, I, I, This is not personal This is something which I feel That I must do Because it is the right thing to do <laughs> To have adequate disposal Facilities for ga Metro Manila garbage The final closure and rehabilitation of the Carmona sanitary landfill shall be pursued while the adoption of appropriate waste to energy facilities will be explored. Marami nan. The technology is coming in very fast. In the area of governance, there's a need to strengthen our efforts along this line. Taas mo na. Mataas yung paragraph na yan. Ito. Select the best answer dito. Ang taas nito. Mabubuang ka. To better manage public information, a law should be passed. I'm addressing to Congress to create the People's Broadcasting Corporation replacing PTV4. The government-run TV station which now aims to replicate international government broadcasting networks. Teams from these international news agencies, and like to mention that those interested, BBC, are set to visit the country soon, train people from government-run channels to observe, ito ang gusto ko, total pera naman ng tao, to observe editorial independence through innovative programs and intelligence treatment analysis of reports as well as the development of national and international significance. The Governance Bureau of Broadcast Services, better known as the Radio ng Bayan, shall undergo upgrading, upgrading to make it financially viable and dependable for accurate and independent and enlightening news and commentary. Radio ng Bayan will be integrated with the PBC. As we are presently setting up a presidential communication satellite office in Davao City, PBC will also put up broadcast hubs in the Visayas and Mindanao. <laughs> Davao City will also be the first site with the first Muslim channel called as Salam Television and the first Lumad channel. The PCO shall coordinate with the Office of the Executive Secretary and Presidential Legal Council in implementing the recently approved EO on the Freedom of Information. This is the executive order is out. Uh, as an example, on the part of our executive branch to make transparency and integrity as yardsticks in government performance, savings, and expenses, while engaging the public to be vigilant to participate in government programs and projects. The, C the PCO, in coordination with the Executive Secretary, is drafting the administrative order on the task force of presidential task force on media killings. This government does not condone violence and repression of media.
li bona fide media bona fide media sometimes they pronounce it bona fide but whatever the thing is the bona fide media has always been our partner for change di medyo klaro yan Eh, di, anong gawain mo sa hindi bona fide media? Yan ang problema. To address backlogs and low prosecutorial effectiveness and efficiency, the investigation and case management processes shall be streamlined, including those for illegal drugs and heinous crimes. To eradicate the prevalent cultures of fear and silence that they have founded our justice system, I ask Congress, you, to enact the whistleblower protection law while the present witness protection program shall be strengthened. Hirap again, Presidente, maski dito lang. The number of lawyers and support staff and the POW, that is the Public Assistance Office, regional and districts, shall be increased to provide Indians with more access to councils. At the stage, I also have directed the DILG to undertake nationwide information and campaign on federalism in partnership with various alliances and with LGOs, <laughs> civil society, grassroots, and faith-based organizations. Hinto mo na ako dito, itong federalism. Ayaw mo ko itong tama ako. Alam mo, itong bayan natin, if I may just repeat, I know that you know it. In 1521 or 1526, Magellan landed in in Leyte. That's all. Kumari kuman ito. Damat mo rin. Mindanao was already Islam by 100 years. So, ano ito? It's an imperialism thing. There's a historical injustice committed against the Moro people. We have to correct it. But it is well nigh impossible now. Kaya kayo mga kapatid kong mga Moro, alam naman ninyo, ako ay, ay, ay mixed. May grant ang tatay ko doon. So, asam ay mixed blood ako. Uh, Moro, pati Christian. But, you know, Naintindihin na lang natin ito. That we cannot return to you all yung nangkuha ng mga Amerikano, Espanyol, pati yung mga Pilipino, mga kapitalista. Those who exploited Mindanao when that thing, uh, sloganeering, go to Mindanao because it is a land of promise. With the vast entry of so many people, basically coming from the Visayas, karoon tayo ng... We cannot solve it the way you want it to be. We have to understand each other, then we have to live with each other. But we'll try. Ang sinasabi ko nang babalik ako, dahil ako sa federalism, both Ms. Suarez, Sema, and all, at least the political leaders ng uh, Mindanao, will agree to it. We do not remember that uh, ako yung, eh, hindi ko dinidiktik yung masyadong Abu Sayyab because it is really connected with the first uh, talks between Miswari, the president, subsequently to, to President Marcos and now, until now. Until now. No? The only way they said that we can have is yung BBL, ibigay na natin. Minus the, the things that you do not want, yung uh, constitutional issues. Tanggalin muna natin. Ibigay ko yung area. Ay, wala natin. Nandiyan na yan eh. So, I ask you, pass it minus the constitutional issues that are contentious. Bigay na natin. At when the federal system comes, isali mo na sa package together with Ms. Wari. That is the solution for me now. Nothing else. Believe me, nothing else will do. Please sleep on it. Ponder on it because that's the only way to proceed. On the clamor of our citizens for timely issuance of Philippine passports, 
the government shall work towards amendment of the 1996 passport law to lengthen the validity of the passports from the current five years to 10 years. <laughs> Total kayo naman ang magagawa ng batas, yung diwa duman sa pass the law. Even if you make it good for 30 years, okay ako. Bahala ka. Basta stretch a little bit because five years is just really simply on a regular basis. Matagal pa naman itong itong passport. Mag-apply ako sa mga 10 days. Alam mo, I'd like to call the attention of uh, Secretary Asai. If you go to Davao, look back. Doon sa, look at the back, likod ng uh, itong mall. Yung malaki mall doon. Oh, sige, pangalan na lang natin, SM. Doon, yung mga tao, nandyan sa pavement, patutulog. For the many times, nadaan ako na walang ulan. Doon yan sila. Because first come, first serve. And the only outlet there, the outlet of your department is... Yung sa SM. So yung mga maawa ko para dito, dito sa side sa Cotabato, lahat ng Cotabato doon sa Davao. Karamihan niya kung walang, walang mga, mga bahay. If you're applicant in Davao City, fine. But yun ako kung walang walang, mahirap kasi ano. Karamihan dyan mga muro ano. Naghihiga lang dyan sa pavement. Nasasaktan talaga. Masakit eh. Yung buong gabi, mga tayo sila hanggang magbukas yung SM. Kasi first come, first serve. Kasabi ko, well, that is addressing to, to all of the cabinet members. Make use of the computer. I do not want to see people lining up under the heat of the sun. I do not want people lining up under the rain. Naman yung mga brano. When I want itong labor, wala na ito sa script. Yung prompter na tutulog na singol, kapindot-pindot niyan. <laughs> Alam mo, nandiyan naman yan. Sabi ko, what I want is a journal. When the applicant presents the documents, give them a shopping list. Do not add or get anything away from it. Yun na yan final. And when he complies with that, that is God. Wag mo na siyang pabalikin. Kasi kung magtawag yan ng 888, may God, puntahan ko talaga kayo. Yan ang bisyo ko ng mayor ako. Make in a difference, mayor president. Puntahan talaga kita, tiyain kita sa maraming tao. And I would publicly ask you, what the hell happened to the procedure? Pupuntahan ko talaga kayo. Local, barangay, police, military, lahat. Bigyan mo ng shopping list, huwag mo nang pabalikin. Because pang magtawang ng 888 yan, tapos makita mo na it's the, the grievance is valid. Bahala ka anong walang panahon, pupuntahan kita sa opisina mo, man I will ask you. Bakit? Bigyan mo ng stab. You have to employ actuarial ability. That's easy. Pero pagtanggap ng tao, I'm addressing myself under me. Journal. Papirmahin mo siya. Lagyan mo doon, tignan mo sa computer. Kung, kung mag-connect ka doon sa actuarial, doon kailangan ng bubo dyan eh. Kasi matatapos siguro yan mga next month, tapos na. Projection sa lang naman. Kung balik ka dito, August 15, 3 o'clock. Pagdating, bagay mo. Now, if it goes to Malacanian, I'll open it up. For those who have valid reasons to complain about graft and corruption, the gates of Malacanian will be open. Doon ka. Magsumbong ka. At I will be briefed by my military or aid or yung ano, itong nagbigay ng tubig. Sir, dito maraming ka. Ano? 
So, yung question. And the reason why I do not go out, I do not accept invitations. Hindi ako nagtumatanggap. Because every time I traveled around Manila, it causes a huge congestion. Kasi, pag itong pag-uwi ko, is dogi ligo also by projection paglabas ni mi presidente niyan uh, picture taking ganun and they start to block the yung roads access to the uh, ganun yan every time ang president don mga ganun yan so paparahin nila yan sabihin nila dadaan yan by this time and in the bit time sirado yan di paglabas ko kalabo berdi santo walang sasakyan diyan ito pala exponentially ang ang traffic the, the, the tail end of the traffic is somewhere 5 you know, two, two to 3 hours to normalize kahit ako tumatanggap ng and I hate to travel kasi talagang lilinis yan eh ito namang kasi ang, ang, ang taas kasi ng ang turas ng presidente sila Dudog sa dudog, may ambulansya. Hindi na ang turak, parang kurtas na. Sa po si Bigo? Ita. Sabi ko, dalawa, tatlo, tama. Nasa gitna lang ako. Pero ang totoo, magtaksi lang ako dito sa likod. Sunod lang ako. <laughs> eh, takot ba sila? Ano nga magkuha ba kung patayin mo ako? What? For? No, may ambulansya ako. Dagdagan mo na na po ni Raria. I have also ordered the DFA to streamline documentary requirements and passport applications and open additional consular offices in strategic places to decongest Metro Manila sites and avoid queues that have caused hardships and suffering those passport applicants. I have also ordered the newly created DICT information and communication technology to develop a national broadband plan to accelerate the deployment of fiber optics, cables, and wireless technologies to improve internet speed. Ito para ito sa ay alam ko mahal kong kababayan Maligayahan, maligayahan kayo nito. Pag paano mo lang yung Tagalog ko, kasi, eh kayo, hindi kayo marunong magbisaya, di? <laughs> Wi-Fi access shall be provided at no charge in selected public places, including parks, plazas, public libraries, schools, government hospitals, train stations, airports, and seaports. Uh, ano ba? Uh, uh, happy lahat. All government agencies are instructed to enable their clients to submit applications for coordination other agencies combined. Uh, Taas mo, wala na yan. Ayaw na magsalita. In the, in the national portal. Yes, because it's our uh, parang website. Ito. We shall